Good morning, everybody. Sunday. Look at the fog right now. I have a batch of broilers right there that you just can't see. Um, I'm up. I'm doing chores. It is overcast, uh, but it's morning time, so that means the light is even across my beautiful face. Uh, so I have my camera out. I'm shooting some videos for YouTube today uh, because light's good. I have some time. Sunday. It's mellow. Uh, woke up early. Had way too much coffee already. I got some thing on my fingers that is just dyed my fingers in a poopy color. Uh, so that's fun too. It just hasn't gone away. Um, but yeah, thought you might enjoy how misty it is. Even on camera, like it, it, you just can't quite grasp how much you can't see with how moist and humid it is right now. It's like 100% humidity. You know, we're just one shy step away from rain. Hope you enjoy your Sunday. That's it. Take it easy. Have some coffee. Talk to you guys soon. See this? Kent Falls Brewing Company. Uh, the brewing company that is part of the farm, the farm is part of the brewing company. We do a lot of things sourced locally, and as locally as possible, we source things from our own farm. One of those things, mmm, sumac. This is staghorn sumac, not to be confused with uh, the itchy, burny sumac that gives you like poison ivy rashes. This has a great lemony, strawberry, fruity, citrusy flavor to it. It's awesome. And uh, we got a bunch of it on the property. So I've never used it before. Uh, the brewery's never used it before. I've never harvested it before. I took a couple hours, invested a few hours today harvesting a whole bunch. Uh, and then you take the berries, which you can kind of see, zinga, uh, off of the stem and uh, take the stem out because it puts bad flavors in the beer and you want all the good flavors. Then we're going to use this in a beer going forward. I'm very excited about it. That's if I can get enough. We'll see. What up? I'm out watering chickens, doing my morning chores, thinking about, you know, it's middle, mid to late September and uh, season's starting to wrap up, getting some numbers in. Uh, final harvests are coming in. Things are shutting down for the season. This time of year, as I talk to more of my farmer friends, there's a lot of burnout. There's a lot of like struggle, stress. You start to worry about the winter. What do you do over the winter? Are you going to be able to keep busy? You're going to be able to afford it, you know? And then there's, you know, tensions can get high on farm and things are crazy. Things go wrong, but you got to finish strong. You got to be, uh, you got to be persistent. You got to be diligent. You got to be on top of your record keeping. So, you know, you can assess things when it comes time to the winter and you're sitting there going, what happened and what can I change for next year? Oh, got to change. And then, uh, you know, keep that smile on your face. Keep it going. Keep those birds going. Keep farming. You're growing food for people. It's a beautiful thing. If you're not a farmer, go hug one. Talk to you soon. So our tasting room is open from 2 to 7 on Thursday and Friday and from 12 to 5 on Saturday. And we had the initial install a couple months ago. And now when we go inside, we're working on it. Uh, bringing some beer in. We're opening for retail today. Stocking our shelves with some harvest. We've rearranged everything taking the old signs down from the fridge and putting in uh, new chalkboard signs so everything matches, rearranging our information wall so we'll have more information about the farm, where the bathrooms are, how to arrive, da 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 da, -da. maps, livestock, super good. Uh, getting rid of the medium-sized freezer and putting in a larger freezer that we can hold more inventory. Um, Derek is back there somewhere hiding out. Have our, our price list on our stuff, our point of sale counter. Uh, is a table for now, but over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna build something that looks more like our bar. I built that from scratch, super fun. Uh, just trying to pull all the elements together and make it more inviting for people, and uh, all very exciting. It's Friday, I'm so excited. It's the weekend. You guys got any fun plans for the weekend? Uh, our brewery it just released some new cans, some IPAs and a Pilsner in cans, pretty amazing. Means it's gonna be a big weekend, working all weekend, which is great. Uh, farm store will be open. I just released some new videos on YouTube. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. My YouTube video that just came out, starting a series that's going through the fall and in the winter and into next year. Every Friday, a new piece of the puzzle. Today, we're gonna start with how I almost lost my job a couple years ago and why that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Couldn't be, uh, today's a good day. I don't know, sun shining, I'm farming. I got some friends on their way to like big organic fairs. Everybody's having a good time. And uh, yeah, just, just big weekend on farm. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Check out that YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll see you on the Instagram.